Hey everyone. For this week's Racial Justice Spotlight, we wanted to just take a moment and acknowledge the terrible events that took place in the Atlanta area last week, specifically the murder of six Asian women and two others, which comes after a year or so in which we've seen a rise in anti-Asian bigotry and hate crimes in America. We lament this hate crime and this growing trend of racist and bigoted attacks on the Asian American community. We also pray for the families of the victims that they may feel some sort of peace and comfort through this absolutely devastating and unspeakable tragedy. Christ Presbyterian Church stands firmly with and behind our Asian American friends and family, and we soundly reject the brand of Christianity on which the killer attempted to pin his reasoning for committing these hate crimes. Every Sunday in worship, we proclaim the peace of Christ, and as such, we must continue to extend that peace of Christ in our daily lives, individually, and as a church. In addition, we wanted to point you to some resources if you're looking to help out, get educated, or become a better ally for the Asian American Pacific Islander community. In the description of this video, you'll find links to a handful of great organizations working in this specific issue area, both here in Madison and internationally. This is, of course, not a comprehensive list, so if you have any suggestions, please feel free to share. We've also included a link to a reflection from Pastor Erica Liu of Press House, a CPC partner here in Madison, in which she reflects on her experience as an Asian woman in America. It's a difficult but powerful perspective that, frankly, needs to be read and heard by more white Christians. As I wrestle with where I'm at in all of this as a very privileged white guy, to be honest, I'm struggling just trying to wrap my head around all this evil. And I'm reminded of what King Theoden from Lord of the Rings says in the middle of a great battle against evil forces where he doesn't see how he can win. He says, what can men do against such reckless hate? And to be honest with you, that's kind of where I'm at right now, as we see yet another mass shooting take place in Colorado this week, claiming the lives of at least 10 people, plus the tragic events of last week. So what can we do? Well, we can continue to love people as Jesus loves us, selflessly and sacrificially. And in doing so, continue to work together for the healing of the world, just as Jesus calls us to do each and every day. So to close, I offer these words from the Apostle Paul from Galatians chapter 6. So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up.